Hello, everybody. I'm Carol Tonello. I'm the VP of Business Development uh, at Hyperbaric, and I'm also in charge of the application department. My presentation today will explain why and how to adopt HPP in your food business. Briefly, I would like to introduce uh, our company. Uh, we are uh, the HPP world leader concerning the HPP industrial system. We have uh, more than uh, 325 uh, HPP machines installed running all over the world. The company has more than 20 years of experience in, in HPP. And uh, we are uh, based, uh, as you can see on the picture, we are based in Spain, but we have also uh, uh, some subsidiary, especially uh, the, the main one uh, in the United States, in, 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 in Miami, Florida. We are a team of 130 uh, people, and uh, the company is very R&D intensive. This, um, uh, and we are proud to, uh, to, be, to have been awarded by six, uh, by eight, sorry, by eight international uh, innovation awards. Uh, our value are uh, reliability, uh, service, and innovation. The location I was talking about, so uh, we give the uh, service, sales, and application all over the world. So from Spain, United States, Mexico, Asia, and, and Oceania. So focusing on, on the purpose of my talk today, I will uh, give you some insight of the HPP technology so you could understand better why you should use uh, this technology for your for your products what is hpp um, it's a non-thermal uh, food preservation technology that use uh, water and high pressure to inactivate foodborne pathogen and spoilage microorganisms this is the main application about 90 percent of of uh, of the HPP user in the world, or 95 perhaps, um, uh, are using the, this technology because uh, it's, uh, uh, it's able to inactivate microorganisms, veg vegetative microorganisms, without heat. The level of pressure we reach is super high uh, because we are 6,000 times, uh, we are working at uh, 6,000 times the atmospheric pressure. In the deepest oceans, the Mar in the Mariana Trench, the pressure is only 1,000 bar uh, or uh, almost 15,000 uh, uh, 15, um, uh, PSI. And, uh, and this is uh, six times, and we are working six times more, six times higher pressure than the pressure, the water pressure existing in the, in the deepest uh, ocean. So with this pressure, the, the water and the water contained in the, in the food product is compressed by 15%. Uh, we have been teach when we were young that the, that water is, is an uncompressible uh, fluid, but it is compressible when we, when we reach this, uh, this very high pressure. And this pressure um, um, modifies the, some, some enzymes and proteins in the, in the microorganisms that, that kill them. What are the benefits? Of course, if we kill microorganisms, we can increase shelf life extension because we inactivate spoilage uh, microorganisms. Uh, the technology all, um, um, allows also to improve food safety because we can inactivate some pathogen like uh, Listeria, E. coli, Salmonella, uh, only vegetative um, uh, microorganisms. Uh, we cannot inactivate spores like Clostridium or um, Bacillus when they are an, uh, in a form of, uh, of spores. But this technology is like a cold pasteurization. This, uh, the technology, the HPP, allow uh, market expansion because uh, having a product um, uh, which uh, is uh, safer and with a longer shelf life, you can cross the border in the, of the most efficient company or you can enlarge the area where you, you, can, uh, you can sell your product. Um, it gives the technology gives the, the possibility uh, to our customer uh, to be very uh, innovative, uh, giving new products, fresher product, 
um, because the product uh, uh, is um, is like the one you, you could prepare at home for ready meals or the fresh juice you can squeeze uh, directly. Uh, so we we uh, we keep the nutrients and uh, the color, the the freshness of the products. So it gives uh, uh, it has it gives a, a huge potential for the development of, of new premium product. Um, the technology also allows to uh, propose clean label products, so 100% natural product, and um, and it it avoid uh, it avoid recalls uh, that are very uh, very difficult for the for the company when they when they occur. It protects the, the brand. Which products work and which not? Um, HPP efficiency. Uh, is given by water pressurization, but it also uh, the pressure is transmitted in the product by water. When the product is very dry, when the water activity is uh, below 0.87 um, for the large majority of the, of the products, so when it's dry product like jam or concentrate juices, syrup, condensed milk, paper, um, uh, the, the technology doesn't work because the pressure is not transmitted to the microorganism. They are protected by the by the dryness of the product. But we can we can pro, uh, process a very large uh, group of uh, of products: uh, fruit product, vegetable product, meat, fish, cheese, cured meat, and and fermented meats like uh, serrano ham, for example. So the, the 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 range of product is very large. But if they are too dry. Unfortunately, we cannot inactivate microorganisms inside. Which packaging for HPP? Well, in in the large majority of the of the of the product uh, process under pressure, the products are uh, processed uh, after after packaging. Uh, so it avoid any recontamination when we when we pack. This is one of the benefit of the of the technology. So this product is packaged and then we place it in a in a vessel in a chamber processing chamber that we fill with water and we pressurize so the the, the package need to be water resistant and also need to be flexible to be able to transmit the pressure if it's not flexible the package would break like it, like if it would be glass glass jar for example so what we need is uh, water resistant and flexible in general it's um, uh, plastic but could be vegetable, uh, uh, vegetal uh, plastic, or uh, could be regular plastic. Not all the material works with HPP, but uh, you uh, you you would be able to find uh, quite easily a, 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 a plastic material uh, that that would work for bottles, for cups, for pouches, and for tray. It's uh, much easier to find it when the product is vacuum packed. Uh, but if there is a uh, edge space or if it's modified atmosphere packaging, uh, some solution, uh, commercial solution exists. So this is not very difficult to, to, to find a, a suitable packaging. HPP application, a lot. So we're going from the juices and beverages. So um, starting with the regular juices, smoothies, plant-based plant milk, uh, cold brew teas and coffee, uh, fruit-based water, vegetable soups, functional shop, energy drink, probiotic drinks. I mean, this is this is today uh, the the uh, the category that uh, that is the most processed uh, under pressure. What what are the benefits? We keep the nutrients, we keep the the fresh flavor. So that's uh, and we can multiply the shell five by up to I would say 30, 30 times. From uh, the first product uh, that we're processed under pressure for the for the food safety risk to reduce the, the food safety risk, uh, we are the meat products, and it's, it is still a, a large category. So we can process dry cured meat, raw and marinated meat, poultry products, deli meats, uh, ready to eat meals. Avocado products is a really a huge success uh, for the technology because these products are very perishable. Uh, 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 because it's sensitive to um, uh, spoilage microorganisms and also to pathogen. But uh, over that, so this, these um, two things can be controlled with HPP, but the additional benefit with the same process is that we are able to inactivate uh, the browning enzyme, enzymes, sorry, 
And this enzyme is the one that turned from green to brown, and it is inactivated with HPP. So the product, after several weeks, can stay green, and and uh, and it preserve also the the really the the texture and the flavor of the of the avocado uh, products because. This is typically the products that you cannot you cannot process uh, uh, thermally because it, it loses all the all the benefits. Uh, there is also a large range of uh, of salsa and plant based products that uh, um, that is commercialized: hummus, dips, salad dressing, salsa, ready to eat uh, 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 salsas, and plant based milk. Belly food, they are mainly vegetable or, or fruit-based, and this is a, a growing category to, to be able to give to the babies uh, all the nutrients of the food and in, in a fresh, uh, in a, with a fresh flavor. The dairy product is a smallest category, uh, uh, but it, I think it will grow in the, in the coming years. So we have example of uh, cheese, especially fresh cheese, raw milk, functional beverages, dairy beverages, spreads, and a little bit of, of milk in cold brew coffees. Ready to eat meals, it's also a growing category from protein meals, seafood meals, and, and plant based. Pet food, uh, this is also a category that started really to grow five years ago, I would say. And um, here the interest is that um, we can keep the nutrients for the pet and also we can keep the fresh. Uh, flavor and the fresh odor, and the odor for the pet is very, very important. <coughs> seafood, sorry. <coughs> um, seafood, we have two main applications. We have the ready to eat products, uh, cooked fish, <coughs> sorry, octopus, uh, smoked tuna, algae, uh, fish salad, uh, ready to eat meals, crab. And we have also uh, a possibility with HPP of um, uh, lobster extraction or crab extraction uh, or mollusk uh, shucking. <coughs> Why using HPP? Well, if we start with the last application I explained you, because we can shuck without heat process uh, the bivalve, like the oysters, and also we, if we place the lobsters or crabs or, or um, shellfish directly in the vessel, so without packaging, the water goes uh, inside the um, uh, or between the shell and the meat. We compress uh, the meat, and and this is a way to separate the meat from the shell. And then when we break with tools, we can extract, and this is raw meat. So there is no change of color, no first. Um, thermal process, so the quality stay very high. In general, in this case, the, the, the seafood meat is sold uh, frozen because the process is at, I would say, half of the pressure I introduced at the beginning, uh, 3,000 bar or 40,000 PSI. <clears throat> and so we do not inactivate uh, a lot of microorganisms, but we, we can uh, reduce the contamination in, in vibrant. The main application for the technologies is, of course, uh, to inactivate uh, pathogens. So this is really the, the food safety. We can control uh, bacteria, yeast, mold, uh, viruses, and, and parasites. We cannot control the, the spores, as I said before. This technology is approved by the strictest uh, food safety authorities, and this allows to, to protect your, your brand. Uh, if you're interested, you, you, can, uh, you can go uh, to the Cold Pressure Council uh, website and, uh, and you could uh, apply uh, to the program of, uh, to, give, to, to have the logo High Pressure Certified that would help you to, to show the, um, uh, the safety and, uh, and, and that your process is, uh, has a certification. Uh, the other uh, major benefit of the technology is the shelf life extension, uh, up to 30 times for juices and beverages, so from few days to few months, uh, four times for ready meals, for cooked meats, uh, up to 10 times for vegetable dips like, uh, like guacamole, for example. Clean Adele, so this is also very important uh, at this moment. So this technology allows to, uh, to uh, remove uh, 
uh, nitrates uh, to uh, to be preservative free, uh, one hundred percent natural, uh, and also for the juices to um, uh, to to say that this is a cold press uh, a cold press juice. How uh, 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 you can you can do to start with this technology? So. Uh, First, uh, I would recommend that uh, you do some trials, so uh, to test the technology on your on your products. So you can, uh, we would be very uh, very happy to receive you in our HPP uh, incubator pilot plan. So we have one in Spain in Burgos and the other one in in, in Miami. Uh, but as we have a customer all over the world, and and some customer have um, also uh, want to develop very specific things. Uh, we are also very happy if you if you go uh, and and you and you work with uh, our HPP Academia network. So um, this is uh, th this list of uh, of member of the HPP Academia network are uh, laboratories, um, technological centers that uh, that can help you because they have uh, HPP machine lab machine or or uh, uh, pilot plant machine in in in. In the large majority of the of the cases, so you can process directly in their machine your final packed product. This is not small, teeny small, teeny machine, and you can find uh, several of them in in, in Europe, uh, Belgium, uh, uh, Spain, Portugal, Greece, also in North America, in the in the US, and uh, and in in Canada, for example. So please do not hesitate to contact us, and we can uh, we can explain you what are the possibility to start to try and to validate your product. Then, when your product uh, uh, you know that uh, your product is suitable, the shelf life is good, the food safety is is good, the marketing department is uh, enjoy the <laughs> the product, and the sales <laughs> are willing to to sell those new products. How to produce? So here you have. Uh, two possibilities. Outsourcing, which is the tolling services. Uh, some of our customers have HPP machine, but they don't use them for their own product. They, they, um, uh, they offer to other company uh, 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 willing to process and, uh, uh, and those companies uh, uh, which are not uh, willing to invest in the machine. So in this case, the tolling service, using the tolling service uh, has some benefits. There is not, no investment uh, on HPP machinery or maintenance and less production uh, space is needed because you just have to, to make in your company your, uh, your uh, own product. Um, and and the, the machine is in theory uh, uh, available uh, right now, so you don't have to, to wait for, uh, for the installation in your, in your company. Uh, the cons are uh, limited flexibility for the product development and production because it's always more difficult to go outside, external quality control, and it's a higher global cost uh, per SKU. Really, this is for, for the company that want to focus on sales, and, uh, and if it works, uh, we will see, or want it really to, uh, to be very quick in the market. Uh, the in-house um, um, production, the pros are, uh, are that uh, you have more flexibility uh, for product development and, and production. Uh, you don't have to ship the, 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 the product. You have lower, lower costs because of no shipment, and you have your in-house uh, quality control. The cons, higher uh, initial investment, of course, and you, you have to do your own uh, maintenance and have the capability and a spare part stock. If you choose the, uh, um, the last possibility, so to have the process in-house, uh, to be able to start, you have to select your HPP unit. So we have model going from uh, roughly 250, uh, 300 kilo per hour, the Hyperbike 55, up to the largest one, uh, the Hyperbike uh, 525, about uh, three tons per, per hour. Yeah, that we can process at six, uh, 600 uh, MPS, 6,000 bar or 87,000 PSI. 
then uh, if you want to be very productive, you can also select your automation solution. So we have many, many possibilities for uh, uh, for uh, reducing the labor uh, and uh, for making the, the machine uh, more uh, more productive work, working uh, 24 hours. And and we are uh, we have also uh, 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 after sales service that will help you for startup and commissioning, diagnosis and monitoring, training your people for for maintenance and for and for running the machine. Running the machine very 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 simple. And uh, and we are here uh, to give you all the service so the so the machine would work perfectly and you will be able to follow the growth of uh, of your market. If you have any question, I encourage you to go to our website, uh, 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 hyperbrake.com, uh, because you will find a lot of HPP resources from flyer, white papers on, on different type of, of products, videos. We have the HPP global uh, community with testimony of, uh, of uh, many customers. We have case studies. Uh, you can also watch the, the of course, uh, uh, the other presentation uh, we propose uh, uh, at this uh, HPP Innovation Week uh, to, uh, 2022, but we had also some interesting presentation from the HPP Innovation Week uh, of last year. And we have also all the years some, some webinars on dedicated uh, subjects. So please contact us, we, we can help you, or please uh, uh, choose uh, whatever you like in, in our website. And with this, uh, I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for thank you for watching, and uh, and be free to contact us if you want if you want to know more. Thank you.